Aam Aadmi Party's sensational attack on the Congress over ordinance says we have come to know that the that an agreement has been reached between Rahul Gandhi and the BJP that he is standing with the BJP against this illegal ordinance. The rights of the people of Delhi and the Delhi government have been taken away through unconstitutional means through this ordinance. Why is Congress taking so much time to respond? Congress should clarify its stance whether it is standing with the constitution or with the BJP. This is almost a threat that Ahmadi Party has issued to the Congress. One should know that some uh, powers of the Delhi government, the Ahmadi Party, have been taken away through an ordinance that the centre had introduced and they're waiting for approval now in the Rajya Sabha. We believe that while uh, the BJP has managed to get nearly 170 votes uh, on the ordinance in the Rajya Sabha, Ahmadi Party is struggling with barely 70, uh, hoping that the Congress will come on board on this. BJP के साथ खड़े हैं ये उसी बात को एक तरह से पुख्ता करता है क्योंकि जब इतना क्लियर है कि एक अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ऑर्डिनेंस पास किया गया है जिसमें दिल्ली के लोगों का अधिकार छीना गया है दिल्ली की सरकार का अधिकार छीना गया है उसमें इतना समय क्यों लग रहा है कांग्रेस को उनको क्लियर करना चाहिए अपना स्टैंड कि वो फेडरलिज्म के साथ खड़ी है या फेडरलिज्म के खिलाफ खड़ी है कि वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के साथ खड़ी है या बीजेपी के साथ खड़ी है उनको क्लियर करना चाहिए अपना स्टैंड All right, there you have it. The Congress and the Ahmadi Party are still really casting a shadow over this opposition meeting that's currently held in Patna. Even as it begins, we're seeing the Ahmadi Party threatening to walk out. You have one, one of their leaders already saying that we hear Congress has had a deal with the BJP. Uh, they are standing against the Constitution. They're supporting the BJP. The Congress is taking way too long to clarify their stance on this. Are they going to support us in the Rajya Sabha? or not. If they're not, then they're not going to be part of this very opposition meet as there's much talk about the real unity in this opposition meet here. Here is Aam Aadmi Party giving a blow right ahead of time. Let me cut across to Mashmi Singh who's been tracking those developments. Mashmi, this is uh, expected. Aam Aadmi Party has uh, been firing at the Congress for not supporting them in the Rajya Sabha uh, on, on the ordinance issue. They're really hoping to get support and uh, to increase their tally in terms of vote in the Rajya Sabha uh, to pass the ordinance or to quash the ordinance that the BJP has introduced, but clearly Congress has not uh, broken its silence on that matter yet. So, Nabila, a lot happening over the ordinance. Uh, perhaps Congress, uh, perhaps Ahmadmi Party clearly. Uh, indicating that it is either yes or no from the Congress that they will take. Otherwise, uh, you know, this journey cannot go on together. Because somewhere in the Aam Aadmi Party, there is a sense that if you're going to align together, if the opposition is coming together, then, then the ordinance issue, which, which is actually very intrinsic to the welfare of Delhi, why can't uh, Congress act as a big brother, uh, bend over and extend a helping hand to the Aam Aadmi Party? So the Congress... In fact, with a yes or a no, will clearly, uh, you know, uh, clear out its intention and its uh, uh, um, uh, feelings for the Aam Aadmi Party is what the Aam Aadmi Party feels. But uh, I think Nitish Kumar uh, and uh, Mamta Banerjee, Sharad Pawar, leaders like these would, uh, would in fact uh, talk about the larger picture, the bigger picture, and talking about the national issues uh, because the Congress uh, somewhere feels that a yes or no in the meeting which is going to talk about national affairs is a, a, a part of the pressure politics, uh, pressure tactics of the Aam Aadmi Party. And uh, remember that the Punjab unit and the Delhi unit have been uh, hammer and tongs against opposing uh, the Aam Aadmi Party's stand on the ordinance. So it's not going to be easy for the Congress Party. But for the greater common good, perhaps, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the Congress uh, giving a yes to the Aam Aadmi Party, but that could also wait for a meeting in the parliament. So we will have to wait and see how the differences are ironed out. Perhaps uh, one of the deciding factors or one of the factors that will play out that these are all party supremos. Leaders like Sharad Pawar, Uddhav Thakre, Mamta Banerjee, they have a very big stature. Mm. Omar Abdullah is coming, Mehbooba Mufti is coming. So they could act as, uh, you know, brokers or uh, 
you know, peacekeepers yeah. is the right word, uh, between the Congress and the Aam Admi Party. That is actually, well, you know, but, Punjab but, but and Delhi at this point, are crucial states Considering that the Congress has really not spoken a word on this, in fact, uh, to the contrary, we know that uh, Sandeep of the Congress, uh, Sandeep Dixit, he has very clearly said, Aam Admi Party walking out of this uh, opposition party meet is really not going to dent their prospects. They are not going to really miss the AAP. This is a, a very sharp statement given uh, in response to AAP threatening to walk out. Amit Bhadwaj also joining us on the phone line. Stay with us, Moshmi. Amit, tell us a little more about Aam Admi Party's intentions. Have any of their netas left to Patna already? Are they going to be part of this? Is this going to be really a statement that AAP will send out attending the meeting and then walking out if the Congress does not come on board with regards to the ordinance? Oh, well, Nabila, there are three points that need to be focused out here. Number one, that Aam Aadmi Party is uh, participating in the meeting, the mega opposition meeting. Uh, Arvind Kejwal, Bhagwant Maan uh, are already in Patna. They are part of the meeting which is happening in Patna right now, the mega opposition meeting. Sanjay Singh, the, one of the chief strategists one is, when it comes to the national affairs and the parliamentary strategy, he has also camped in Patna and Raghav Chadda is also there. Uh, but, you know, this uh, this is not limited to the Delhi ordinance, uh, services ordinance. The entire issue is that it's been more than a month that Adin Kejwal, who uh, also, the party also maintains, Aam Aadmi Party also maintains that it has received a national party status now. And hence the Congress should be also meeting out similar uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, decorum and respect to Aam Aadmi Party when it comes to uh, uh, issues of this sort. Now, Arvind Kejwal had sought time from uh, Malika Arjun Kharge, the Congress president, as well as... Uh, Rahul Gandhi, the former president, but he is yet to get uh, an audience from these two leaders. Now, despite, uh, you know, uh, making a personal appeal, making it out, uh, a public declaration on Twitter, the time was not given to Arvind Kejriwal by these two top Congress leaders. And it has come to the extent that uh, for the first time after making such an appeal, Arvind Kejriwal will be meeting them in this mega opposition meeting. So clearly, Arvind Kejriwal uh, and the Aam Aadmi Party has been making it clear that uh, the Delhi Services Ordinance is something that needs to be discussed in the meeting. And now you have uh, the uh, leaders of the party as well, such as Priyanka Kakkar, uh, you know, uh, 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 taking uh, pot shots of the Congress, training guns of the Congress, saying that there's an understanding and agreement between the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Congress Party that when this uh, uh, bill, the hmm. NCCSA bill, is introduced in the Parliament, the Congress might stage a walkout.